What up peeps? Welcome to the game fix whether it's your first time or you've been here multiple times before. Hey girl, hey. Thank you so much for clicking this video. I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and become a part of the family, okay? I am finally finished Christmas shopping and I figured I would do a what I got my kids for Christmas. I've been doing these videos, I think for the past like two years and I really enjoy watching them. So I figured I'd do another one. I've had a couple of requests. So once I finally finished my shopping, I was like, good, I can show everybody what I got. And it's crazy because as I was sitting things out to make this video, I was just talking on my vlog channel the other day about how I didn't think that I had enough for them and I think that I that I underestimated how much I actually got because as I was setting this stuff out I was like oh these kids have plenty I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna split this up because you know they have birthdays in January so I don't know I probably won't I think for for their birthday I'm going to stick to like giving them clothes so they get all the, like, the toys and stuff for Christmas and then maybe like one other toy and clothes on their birthday I don't know we'll play it by ear and see how it goes so i think i'm going to start with chad jr he is my almost seven year old and these are the things that we got for him now i'm going to try to remember where i got these from but if i don't sorry and i obviously i have no clue how much this stuff was i cannot remember that but um if i can find links to the items i will also try to put those in the description box i don't know we'll see so let's start with this. It is a smart pixelator. And I don't know if you guys can see that. So it's a, a it's smart, but the art is like capitalized because what you do is you take a picture of something and this thing pixelizes it. So then it has like little pegs that you um, I think like it lights up and you put the pegs in there to build the picture that you took. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think that's what happened. So Chad Jr. has been looking through a couple of catalogs. We got a Best Buy catalog and then we got a um, Amazon catalog. So he went through them and circled the things that he wanted. And I'm like, look, buddy, just because you circle it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get it so that he can be prepared for that. But uh, we tried to get him a couple of things that he circled and this was one of them. So we got it and we found this at Best Buy. He has been asking for a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, pl not playhouse, but some type of a setup because he watches a lot of YouTube videos and I guess he sees kids playing with these. So um, he asked for something and we found this um villain busting turtle tank is what it is and uh here's what kind of shows on the back some of the uh some of the things that it does and we decided to get him some obviously he needs the teenage mutant ninja turtles to go with the tank because it's not included so we found leonardo i think i found leonardo on uh, Amazon.com because we got the, the turtle tank at Target and then at Target we actually found Donatella and Michelangelo from Michelangelo and then I ordered a Raphael but it's not supposed to be here until like the 23rd I ordered it off of Amazon so then he'll have all of the, the turtles and the the tank so he'll be good there oh I do have one clothing item for him because he has started to get into a sonic phase like loves sonic the hedgehog yes old school sonic you know they're coming out with a new sonic like next year he's been watching the old videos so he is a huge sonic fan and he came home probably a week ago and told me about a kid that has a sonic t-shirt at his school he was like oh i wish i had a sonic t-shirt so mommy went on amazon and found him a sonic t-shirt so i think he's really going to be excited about this that'll probably be the one outfit that he gets or one like clothing piece that he gets for christmas let's see what else do we have here another thing that he circled when looking at catalogs was um nerf guns so got him this Fortnite gun uh i think it's actually a two pack yeah it's two of them in here and then we got some extra um like nerf bullets or whatnot it's funny because he circled legit like five nerf guns and 
he was like, I circled a lot of Nerf guns, but could you at least get me two? And I was like, two? What you need two for? Why do you need five, first of all? But really, like, why do you need two? So then when I was shopping with Babe, he was like, he wants two so that we can battle with them. And I was like, oh, I guess that makes sense. So we found a two-pack at Target and then got the bullets, the extra bullets to go with it. And... Um, he has a Nintendo Switch, so he wanted another game, and we found a Power Rangers Battle of the Grid game, so he'll be excited about that. We received a, um, what is it, it's a Fuji, it's a little Fuji Insta camera, but we have never been able to get any film, and if you know anything about Chad Jr., he loves taking pictures, so every day he's been asking, not every day, but... For a while, he was going through the stage where he was like, can we get film for my camera? Can we get film for my camera? So we got film for his camera. And I actually, I'm not really sure that this is a Christmas gift. I think that I'm just going to give this to him just so he can play around with that because he's really been asking. We went to Costco and found this box of magic tricks. This is literally like just something that you see and you're like, oh. He's definitely gonna like this because he likes watching magic videos on YouTube and um, he always tries to do like little things like hiding things in his hand so um, we thought that this would be cool it's got like card it's got the magic trick cards and it's like six different tricks a handkerchief a, um, rope cut trick like all types of stuff yeah this is what the inside looks like so we think he's gonna really like that we had to get him a board game because he likes board games even though this isn't really a board game. This is the Electronic Battleship. And I am not responsible for this. This is definitely something that his dad picked out. He wanted to get him the Battleship game last year. And I was just like, bruh, this is too complicated for him. I don't think he's gonna like it. But since this one is um, electronic, we think that he'll be more interested in it this year. So we'll see how that goes. And let's see, uh, one of the last things we got for him at Target is a guitar. And it's an actual guitar, like it's not a toy, it's a legit guitar. And um, he is a musical, he is, oh, you know, our musical child. Well, both of our children are pretty musical, but um, he's been asking for a guitar since we went to uh mexico they had a little guitar there and he wanted it so bad and we were like buddy we have guitars at home so ever since we've gotten back from there he's been asking chad to get the guitars out of the basement so that he could play with them so i don't know how much he will use this but i thought it would be good and then you know chad and i both have guitars we went through the phase where we tried to learn how to play guitar but i don't know maybe we'll pick it back up and we'll all try to learn together so we thought that that would be really cool um and i found this at target i don't know if i told y'all that and then um we got him a sonic coloring book because he's really been into coloring with his baby sister lately and we figured that's something that they could do together so why not get a sonic one i found that on amazon and then this this is the last thing but we did not purchase this uh earlier probably like a couple months ago we worked with monster jam and we went to their event in vegas and he oh my goodness he had such a good time i didn't even know that he knew what monster trucks were but he is such a big fan and they sent us a box with this big old grave digger and a couple of other um, cars none of them are this big though but this is like it's a remote control grave digger y'all he is going to flip when he sees this he is so excited so we got the box probably a couple of months or a couple of weeks ago and he has been asking <laughs> and asking and asking like can i open the box now can i open the box now i think it's a toy i think it's a toy but we have held out because i'm like he can just have it for christmas another gift something else we don't have to get so he's going to be so excited about that monster truck oh my goodness i cannot wait to see his um his reaction when he comes downstairs because he is going to love it so that's everything that we got for him and now I want to show you what we got for baby girl she will be two in January so I was really struggling like what do I get her like what do I get her she doesn't really have many toys like I didn't get a whole lot of toys for her 
like this past year she for the most part plays with her brothers so i figured it was time to kind of have her own section of things so um we went to costco when we went to costco i saw this um book set and it's a book set with like an interactive activity pad and it's disney so it, you know it teaches them like animals and the alphabet and let's see what else is it on there numbers songs counting spelling alphabet I, I know that she'll love this i mean she loves her ipad but this is a lot more educational so um i know that she's gonna love that and then we got her a crayon or crayon we got her a coloring book as well and this one is the best toddler coloring book so it's got like you know animals and um, letters and such in it and I found this on Amazon as well so they both got a coloring book and then I bought two sets of um, washable crayons because Chad Jr. Chad Jr. has markers but I don't really want Reagan coloring with markers because Ain't no telling where she gonna go with them. So I wanted to get crayons for them. I also bought a crayon tin. It looks like a big crayon box, but it's a tin that I found on Amazon, but it hasn't come yet. So um, I actually gotta check the shipping on that because it was supposed to come yesterday. Uh, but yeah, so I got that for her. And then I got her some bath toys because she plays with Chad Jr.'s bath toys. She doesn't have any of her own. So this one is, um, it's an octopus with rings that you like you know, throw on the the legs and try to hook them on the legs. It's like a little game. I thought that was cute. And then just the little floaty bath animals, just because Chad had, he had animals and he had like letters and he loved them. I should get her some letters too. I didn't think about that. Um, she didn't have any uh, bath letters. Uh, so let's see, what else? This is something else that we found at Costco. It's just a like a sketch, like a like a etch a sketch type of situation that comes with a book, and then the book has um, instructions on how to. Is that where it is? Yeah, instructions on how to like uh, draw certain things. I don't know if you guys can see that. I kind of feel like this is a gift for both of them because Chad Jr. will probably enjoy this too. We went to a friend's house for a Christmas party and they had like the Etch-A-Sketch type of thing and Reagan really enjoyed it. So when we saw this, we was like, oh yeah, we should get this for her. And it's, you know, Disney. She loved Mickey Mouse and them. Uh, <laughs> speaking of, well not speaking of, but we went to Target the other day and she kept putting this book in the cart like she just kept putting them in there and it's the sesame street music player so it's got like little discs and the book to go along with it reagan loves music so i know she's gonna love this probably this is something that she can like hold and take around with her so i know she's gonna be excited about it and she'll probably recognize it from you know picking it up at the store uh, let's see what else. Uh, we found a mini mouse roadster. So it's a little remote control car for her because brother has multiple remote control cars and she does not have any of her own. So we thought it was time to get her our own. She loves mini mouse and the little, the little, uh, controller is so cute. Isn't that cute? We actually found this at Best Buy and uh let's see i don't know if you know but reagan is the girliest little girl that i know she is forever picking up my purses and she be trying to walk in my shoes like she wants to wear bracelets i mean all of the things so i found this cute little purse for her on amazon it is the cutest little thing um it says my purse and it comes with things on the inside look at this little lipstick tell me that that's not the cutest little thing Big old keys, <laughs> credit card, and then the phone. So it is, she can walk around holding her little purse and she can carry, carry all her little things in it. At first I was like, maybe I should just get her a real purse. Like, why do I need to get this little kitty purse? But I think this is a good start for her before she starts like carrying an actual purse. Anybody with little girls out there, at what point did you get them an actual little purse that they could carry? I saw this super cute like fuzzy pink one at Cracker Barrel and I actually might go back and get it because it is the cutest thing. But I'd be curious to know like when did you move from kitty purses to like actual purses for the little girls? So we got, 
oh this thing is humongous i got her a lot of big stuff and one of these i think is gonna be for her birthday so we got our activity table um funny story last year we bought her a curiosity table was what it was called and it sat in the laundry room all year like i legit just took it back to bye bye baby uh a couple of days ago and got like her bath toys and stuff like that because she never used it we never opened it and it's like more of a kitty activity table so this one is ages i think it says um two to five and this one's good because it has it literally has all the things it's an interactive pad um a chalkboard an art station a writing a writing thing and it comes with a stool so um I originally bought one from Costco, but it was red and blue. It was more of like, you know, boy type colors. So I saw this cute purple and pink one at Target. So I bought this at Target and then took the one back to um, Costco. But yeah, these are all the things that it, it does. Um, so I know that she's gonna love that. Who was I watching? I was watching somebody else's Christmas and they bought their daughter uh, this, um, scoop and learn ice cream set and I just happened to see it in bye bye baby the next day when I took the activity pad back so I was like oh this is perfect so it's an ice cream cart and it's cute because um, it actually like talks to them and it helps them like learn their colors and like how to count because it'll give you instructions on like how many scoops to take out like what the order is and then um, I think it comes with like little cards um so it's like it helps build their memory and stuff like that it's, i mean it's leapfrog so you know leapfrog stuff is always educational so i thought that that was the cutest thing and that she would love it so yeah got her that and this was actually the last thing that i bought for her i wasn't planning on getting this because i had already got her a kitchenette set y'all yes your girl is gonna have a kitchenette set and this one's pretty heavy, so I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to pick this up and show y'all. Ooh, got the flex for this. Woo! If you guys watch my vlog channel, Gay Babe TV, uh, you actually saw when I was showing this in Target. And I really like it because it's not your typical kitty looking set. I mean, it obviously it doesn't look like a real set but it looks a little bit more grown-ish and i think that it matches the decor in the playroom really well so that's why i went with this one and it's nice it makes um it actually makes ice it's not real ice i actually thought it was real ice but it's not it makes pretend ice um in the little ice maker so oh that mug is so heavy Whew. <clears throat> Whew. I'm spent after that, y'all. So I know that Reagan is really gonna love that. Um, I've seen her play with a kitchenette set once before, and that was when we went to the library, and her and Chad Jr. loved it. So I think that'll be something good for them to play. And then I just went online and bought a 115-piece deluxe tasty treats pretend food play. So she got all the food to go with the kitchenette set. And then this kitchenette set even comes with like a pan and a spatula and a couple of plates. So um, yeah, I think that they are really, really gonna love that. And that is it. Like, this is a lot. I didn't realize that it was so much. I am really out of breath after picking up that. That thing is heavy. This is legit like, it's gotta be like 90 pounds. <laughs> this mug is so heavy, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, that is everything. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you haven't finished your Christmas shopping for your kids, maybe this gave you a little inspiration. And hopefully you get it done uh, by the end of the weekend. So you don't have to be worrying about it next week because it's going to be a madhouse going out trying to shop um a couple days before christmas yeah like i said thanks so much for watching if you have any questions comments or concerns you know what to do leave those down below and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye